we're going to present you uh, the top five guitars. There you go. Hi everyone, I'm here with, uh, with Chris, I'm Valeria, and we're going to present to you uh, the top five guitars. All came out in 2018. These were the guitars you bought most. Yes. What kind of guitar do you have in, in your hand? This is the APX Yamaha, everyone knows it. It's the um, sort of an upgraded version, like uh, they updated the uh, pickup, the undersettle pickup, and some things, and the body's slightly different. And uh, overall, it just has a little more of a full sound. It sounds nice, but it's not really huge sounding. So is it for starters or is it for professional guitar uh, It's more, more for people who actually play guitars on stage. And uh, you don't want to have a carry around like a dread, not a huge guitar, and drum more guitar. Uh, that's going to do the job because the pickup is pretty good and it doesn't feed back as much because the body is not that deep and not that, okay. you know. So that's a, a very practical guitar, you would say. And how is it different to this one? Well. It's completely different. <laughs> <laughs> Words are different. Um, what's really interesting, that's a bigger body. It's almost like a, a dreadnought. Follows a, a body shape that's been around forever. And, um, you know, both have pickups, but the acoustic sound of that guitar is way more of a, a sound you're accustomed to. Okay. So uh, if you just play, I don't know, a G chord. Yeah, it's sweet, you know, kind of round, has enough bass yeah. and everything, not a lot of mid-range. It's sort of a balanced guitar with like a pretty impressive sound. And this one also with the finger. Doesn't really have a lot of top end, doesn't have a lot of bass end. It's more like a mid-rangey sound. Yeah, and otherwise, you know, very easy to play, really stable and everything. So, you know, that's uh, kind of details you want to have if you just um, want to have a, an easy to play useful practical acoustic guitar. Well, where end. should I play this guitar or for what kind of music? I would say if you're like a, a real acoustic guitar player like a singer-songwriter that's more your guitar because of the uh, body mm -hmm. especially you know yeah. you have a, a solid top um, spruce top and uh, mahogany uh, side and bags you also have a, a pretty good uh, Fishman Isis Pickup, which is very good at this price range, yeah. probably the best. So um, you have that's a why I built in. this one. Yeah, <laughs> good, good touch. You know, good yeah. feel to it. So that's um, that's just a really nice all-rounder, typical acoustic guitar. Next one. Well, the first thing about this one, I think, is... It feels so good. <laughs> Valeria I love it. is in love with yes, I love it. the open pour, um, you know, satin, the lac, lacquer. It's amazing. I, I love it. So, um, yeah, and... Uh, What's this guitar called, Valeria? Could you please state the Kay. name Let of this instrument? See. Let me see. It's an Ibanez. There you go. And it's uh, AW. Mm -hmm. 5412CEOPN. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. -O Finished? Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm done. A beautiful name from Ibanez. What else about this guitar? It's all mahogany. And you have a higher voice, basically like female voice in, in many cases. That, that's kind of nice because it sits <laughs> kind of under your, your main frequency yeah. range. Like you, you sing above the guitar's voice, which is very nice. When I plugged it in, I also noticed um, this here. So you can plug in your XLR cable, which makes a lot of sense. And it's, of course, also symmetrical. 
perfect for singer-songwriters. Oh, uh, where's my cable? Oh. Oh, do you have a chair? <laughs> a mic? A mic. A mic? <laughs> There's some vocal cords. I, I forget the name. <laughs> okay. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all of your <laughs> awesome musicians. Really. Well, I can say it. <laughs> Okay, so, what about your guitar? Yeah, this is a PRS SE Angelus, which is their acoustic guitar range. It's the A50. E, e is your electronic. It's hidden here in the sound hole, which makes a lot of sense. Sound-wise, it's less of an impact on your sound. If you have just a tiny little thing, stick on the, um, the bottom of the uh, body top and you don't have a huge piece of plastic with cables and everything flying around in the body. And uh, otherwise, it's really nice and has a solid spruce top and um, some flame maple sides and back, which looks kind of fancy. Take a look at it. And mahogany neck and it's just a really easy guitar to play. So uh, sound wise, well, It's really interesting, we were talking about this earlier, that when you play the guitar quietly, it's super warm. And when you hit hard, it kind of gets uh, trebly. So uh, it's something, you know, you should test whenever you test an acoustic guitar, if it reacts uh, in the dynamic range uh, the way you like it. Yeah, that's it. It's a really nice guitar with a pretty cool Fishman pickup in it. So, there you go. Next one, we have one more. Yes. So. Our okay. plus one. Plus fifth, one. Fifth guitar is actually a nylon string. It's a classical guitar. It's the uh, Fender CN60S. In black. Yeah. Pitch black. Yeah. I'm guessing that's one of the main reasons why it's on the list because um, young people, especially, really like uh, yeah <laughs> classical guitars that don't look like a classical guitar that much. It sounds clear. So it's nice and it's really easy to play. With nylon strings, that's really cool for like young teenager, I don't know, 10 to 13, maybe something like this. It's really easy to play. So a perfect Christmas gift. I guess, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so maybe. it's a good thing. And you know, it's it's finished nice and probably you have your strap pins in it, you know, you, so you can rock out. To use a pick with a, a nylon string is really terrible, but I'm not a classical player, so Whatever. <laughs> Plays almost like electric, which is ridic ridiculous, really, with a uh, classical. Yeah. And who is it for? Uh, yeah, young people. Daughters. It's a funky color, and um, it's it's built pretty well. It has a solid uh, wood tub, which is something, you know, it's a, it's a very nice feature, but I think it's even more important to, to have a properly, easily, uh, you know, playable guitar at this price range, because you don't want to suffer with your bar chords long, you know, with this it's really, I mean, try it, it's really ridiculous how, how easy to play it is, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's really easy. Yeah. Huh. But I like I like the wood of that one. Yeah, that's something else, Sorry. of course. You know. Yeah. But which which guitar would you prefer from all of these? Oh, good question. Um, uh, uh, uh. It's slightly detuned, but this is the one because it doesn't compress at all. Like if you hit it hard. I have the bass end and it just gets when you just yeah. play softly. I like the soft on that one. Okay, yeah. yeah the soft it's really on that warm one. sounding. But otherwise, I like that one and then, yeah. That's your. That's mine. Your baby. Good choice. All right. 
let's compare these guitars and um, then I think it's time to say goodbye as well. Yes. So? These were the top five top setter 2018 acoustic guitars. And it's time to say goodbye. Yep. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe and you tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. And um, Merry Christmas. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye bye.